Hi, it's Sarah Nissen from sarahnissen.com and you may notice my voice sounds a little bit different. I got my tongue tie released yesterday. Yay! I posted about this a few days ago, what um, the symptoms were that I was having and I had no idea I even had a tongue tie previous to this. Um, I went to an oral, my oral myofacial, bleh, <laughs> my tongue is really tied now, oral myofunctional therapist. There is actually a more myofacial therapist as well, but an oral myofunctional therapist and they gave me an assessment and I was assessed with a tongue tie. So I got, it released yesterday, I went to the procedure, took about 15 minutes. I went to a dentist who I had interviewed previously and who was recommended by my OMT. That's the thing I was saying earlier. And um, the procedure went well. I got the numbing. I got uh, topical numbing under my tongue and then three injections. Um, that part I was nervous about. Didn't bother me one bit. I closed my eyes so I didn't see the needle. Um, but I couldn't feel the injections going in at all. And I usually, I've had, as I was saying, my all four of my rear molars have been filled pretty extensively with um, fillings uh, because of cavities. And I've had a lot of numbing done for those. And I hate the numbing normally. Um, I, you know, I would avoid, actually avoided it one time with a electro stem thing that numbed instead and I loved that but I haven't found a dentist that does that instead of numbing anymore um, not sure what happened there why they don't do it anymore but the numbing usually takes me like eight hours to feel better and I get a headache so I told that dentist, that to the dentist and he said he wouldn't use very much he didn't use very much I didn't feel a single bit so I know some of you have been concerned about that but I would recommend that you do whatever it takes to keep yourself comfortable and that's coming from me and I don't use medication typically the, you know Western medication but it wore off so quickly for me I do have the MTHFR all that stuff um, it's not not approved for that or anything but I just wanted to address that um, and for me it worked well everybody's different though so you can make your own choice of course um so they did the laser procedure and um, the thing that bothered me about the procedure was not um, the procedure itself. There was no pain at all, but I kept having, you know, I had to have my mouth open for a short period of time. And as I had it open, I, and it, the laser that he was using sprays out a little bit of water at the same time. I worried about the noise beforehand. The noise wasn't bad. It's a little pulsing sound in this particular laser that he was using. Um, and I'll go into the laser details in a little while, but maybe in the next video when I can talk better. <laughs> but but um, it was spraying out water and the water was collecting in the back of my throat. And at a time he was like lifting up my tongue and sort of pushing it back. And I literally could not breathe. So I felt like I was choking. So I had to raise my hand and like kind of cough and get him to stop and suction it out quicker than they were planning on doing because I literally could not breathe. And he said later that, I mean, I had that happen maybe five times during the 15 minutes as soon as he got a little farther um, in depth under the tongue. And he was going pretty slow with the laser he had. And um, he said that after the procedure that I, that fact that that was even happening was because of the fact that my tongue, my airway is restricted. He said typically in, a, in an open airway, you can do that and the person can still breathe. I was surprised by that because I have had that experience in dentists in the past with my head back like this, even it was harder to breathe. And then with my tongue pushed back by like the stuff they put in for the retainer um, mold, that stuff had made me not be able to breathe as well before too. So interesting. Um, so that was yet another symptom of the tongue tie during that process. So getting down to it. So yesterday, let's see, how did it go? Yesterday I had the procedure at about one o'clock. I had a lot of stress because my son was actually there with me and he was gonna get his phrenectomy done and he did not have it done. 
and he has um, autism, he's 10, and he actually ended up, shortly after my procedure, he ends up punching me in the stomach, and here I am sitting here numb, my tongue's sort of numb, and <laughs> I'm being punched in the stomach. I ended up starting to cry at the end afterward, and I ended up leaving without being able to go to my OMT appointment that was supposed to follow because of that. Um, but I think it was partially the emotional release from having the tension gone, um, which I didn't realize was gone at the time because I had emotional tension <laughs> happening right then and there. But um, he, so he was there. I cr sobbed in the car for probably 15 minutes before I drove home with him. And since then though, so I had a range of emotions from, oh my gosh, what have I done? to, um, yeah, because it hurt it after the numbing wore off, which only took about 45 minutes, it started to hurt quite badly. It was very raw. The pain was kind of like, I mean, it wasn't anything I've ever experienced before, but it was like raw, right? Because it had been an open wound there. And it was also bruising, um, but it was quite intense pain. I decided not to use any kind of Western medicine, so I used homeopathy. Um, I'll go into that in another video as well, but I used the details of what I used. But I used homeopathy before the procedure, the day before, and then right before, right after. And I actually found it to, to work quite well, and I haven't used anything else. Um, today, I've hardly used anything. It's it, The wound has healed so quickly, the openness of it, that that part isn't bothering me anymore so now it's just a bruising day is day two and there's like this bruising feeling right down here and then during i can see why some people don't do the stretches because when i don't move my tongue for even you know half an hour it gets tighter and i like ow to to move it to stick it out kind of hurts Talking is very good. It's very important. So I keep on instead of texting people I keep calling them today, which is not like me introverted me wants to text all the time, but So I'm gonna do this live too. I just keep on having excuses to talk. I'm talking to myself I've said the ABC's and <laughs> um, So anyway, I'm gonna go over the tongue tie exercises Post phrenectomy for a week. This is the procedures. I mean the exercises that she's given me for a week because they're milder versions, easier versions of what she's going to have me do later and what she's had me do in the past. But it's a lot harder because it feels like it's actually kind of tightened down until I stretch past it. And I found it takes, you know, I was doing the other ones in the last video really quickly, like da 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 da. This, I can't really rush through it today. I can't really rush through eating. It's like, it's sort of been a spiritual thing for me because I... I have to take time and just be in the moment, in the present moment, doing what I'm doing and conscious of my throat and my tongue. My breathing is not um, affected, that I can tell. And I'd be conscious of moving my tongue, you know, conscious of what it's doing, like what I'm chewing yesterday when it was a little bit numb. Of course, I wasn't supposed to eat, but today it's like, let me take a bite of toast. I had a bite of toast with a ton of butter on it and I take a bite. I'm like, oh, I gotta chew that carefully because my tongue, it sort of it surprised me, but it naturally wants to go just stay where it is and not move. That's what it, so it doesn't, it's, it's hard for it to stick out farther than it was before. It's interesting. It's sort of a, it's my mind. My mind is limiting it. Like I can't, I can't do that. You've never done that before. So it's this whole growth process, pushing through the pain. That's the key is like, there is this pain when you do the the stretches today, but if you just keep at it, the pain gets less. It's interesting. Um, and, oh, I forgot the tissue that I'm gonna need to do this one exercise, but I'll just get to that. Anyway, so, so waggle spot. Waggle spot is like this. I guess I'll get a little bit closer. Hello, you can see every detail of me. Okay, so waggle spot is <clears throat> even that's farther, but okay, it's like this. Huh? 
Uh, huh. You can see the wound. It's not too disgusting today, so I'll show it. Yesterday it looked kind of gross because it was raw. And they said that bleeding during this is actually normal for the first day. This morning it bled quite a bit and I was like, ah! But it really was diluted with saliva and it wasn't that much blood. And she said just rinse with salt water, about one cup of warm water to um, one teaspoon of sea salt is what I used. Rinse with salt water afterwards and it, it didn't, it wasn't effective. Okay, so waggle spot, that's one side of the mouth. Huh, huh. In spot, ah, stretched as high as you can go. And I can go higher than that if I just let it sit for a second like this. Ah, it's a lot more open than it was. And I've been doing that while I drive, just sitting it like that and just stretching it out because it, it hurts, but then it gives. It's like it's this resistance but then it gives a little bit and and releases a little bit more because I'm remembering what the dentist told me that there's nothing restricting it now but old patterns almost like fear right like the fear of it hurting or ripping open or something but it's in my mind um, so there's nothing to it's no danger it's not dangerous to stretch it and it's not being stopped by anything physical anymore which is interesting to remember. Okay, waggle flap, touch upper lip, then lower lip, up and down. Uh, hurts. Ah, oh, that really hurts. Uh, 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 just up and down. My tongue looks kind of white today. Tongue pops, just suction to the roof of the mouth. That hurts too. Oh, it's not as loud because it hurts. But I would do 20 of those. Snake in and out, unsupported by lips, like this. Uh, uh, ow. Uh, 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 not touching. Each time it gets farther out. So if I did all of these, my tongue would be much more flexible. The next one, okay, this one's interesting. Lay your tongue on the top of your fingers and open your mouth and pull up on the tongue. This one actually feels really good. It's weird. Uh, ow. Uh, this. Uh, 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 uh. Ah, and count to ten. And let go. And do that five times. Ah, that does feel better. And the last one, uh, if I had a tissue with here, putting my, holding it, holding it out. Uh, to the side and to the other side so that's it those are the ones and then she wants me to rinse with salt water and put vitamin E oil underneath the tongue on the wound itself all right that's it so tomorrow I'll come back and talk about the homeopathy and I'll let you know how it's doing on day three I'm going to keep up with the stretches because that is what they are stressing is the most important thing to keep it from needing a second procedure and to keep it flexible. I mean, that makes total sense. Mm -hmm. And it also feels better when I stretch it. Oh, there was one last thing they were talking about is myofascial release, which sounds like myofunctional, but is there was a place right here where I'm supposed to rub and go over because it really does feel good. Down, massaging down here, it, bru it feels bruisey, but it also really relaxes it. And then use a knuckle and go right up to the chin bone right behind it and rub like this. Oh. I guess I didn't talk about yet, so that's the exercise, but I didn't talk about the benefits that I felt so far. Now yesterday I was like, oh this sucks, what have I done? 
And that then during the evening I felt better. Like six hours later, I saw like much less, like I saw much more flexibility. I hadn't really seen it. I was actually able to reach behind my top tooth with my tongue and I'm like, what is that? Like I'd never felt that before. Um, and I was doing Qigong last night that I always do. And I noticed that I laid my, normally when I lay my hands like this on the ground, this shoulder never was able to kind of just rest like the other one. I laid it down and it rested on the ground like this one with it up. And I was like, whoa, just little, little details like that. Or like I was not able to turn my head to the left as far as I could to the right. And now I can. And um, I always have a neck ache um, on the right side up here, right where my, yeah, I don't have that at all, right where my um, atlas, the top most vertebrae meets the skull, like it's kind of in my skull it feels like, always hurts on the right side, and it hasn't hurt today. I noticed that I got up from a chair, my hip was popping, my back is just kind of cracking and popping all the time, and I can move my head back farther than I could, and I could still breathe. Um, a lot of benefits. I can't, it's so hard for me to believe that just a small amount of tissue restriction there can deal with these things. The other thing actually is I always had a bit of restriction down on my right pelvis in the front, um, my hip I guess that would be. When I would get up I couldn't stretch my right leg back quite as far while I was even walking. I noticed that it was not like that today. Like I got up and I was like, my God, I can move. It's just, I mean, there's a lot more flexible everywhere. Like the whole body feels, even my toes were cracking without me doing much. It just feels more flexible. So I really hope that it continues and I'm going to do some yoga and more Qigong and go to the chiropractor this week and just make sure it's, you know, stretching my body as well to keep it fluid and flexible. So, okay, that's it. I could talk on and on about it, but tomorrow I'll talk about the homeopathy that I used. I might put together a PDF that is a download for that. Um, or if you're interested in anything else and you're watching this, let me know what I can help you with. Um, yep, I'm just gonna go through the exercises and I will be finishing up right now and I will see you tomorrow. All right, any questions that you have, leave them below, please. Thanks, bye.